Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this third party figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the Cyan Culture. This is their take on a Legend Scale Scamper figure. Now he does come packaged with six gun, they are a two pack but this video is just going to be focusing on Scamper and six gun will be separately uploaded. So I've got various other versions of Scamper there. We're going to have a quick look at them in all of their modes and I'm also going to be uploading the transformation process for this separately because believe it or not it's quite intricate for such a small figure so yeah they come packaged like this in a quite boring more like a generation selects box they come packaged together in robot mode like so um, and indeed that is the instructions so i'm lucky enough to have two sets because i've been lent some of these as well so this video should flow quite quickly so let's move the other ones out of the way for now so knocking them all over this is the alternate mode and this is the robot mode from this very set what's happened to his head there we go we're going to start off with the alternate mode and that is a brilliant brilliant homage to the original generation one um, i love the fact that you can put the two guns on the back as well very similar to what you could do of course with the original generation one uh, but of course with the original generation one you would just put them on the roof rather than at the back so it's a great great homage uh, to that the good thing as well is though that the guns are guns and what i mean by that is when the generation one figure because of course it was so basic the guns were his arms so um with the original one there and then there was additional weaponry that you could put in his hand uh, as well i probably just put them on wrong but there you go uh, that's him compared to his original generation one self this is him in robot mode though so very different um, as i say the weapons are completely separate you don't need them there's a good bit of articulation on this guy the head will look up and around um, it will spin all the way around it is on a ball and socket it's a bit of detail there for the color of the eyes on the inside the shoulders are on ball and sockets but they'll move in and out bit a bit like a butterfly joint but that to be honest is mainly for transformation you can swivel at the shoulder you can bend at the bicep the wrists are fused the waist will swivel there's no ab crunch but the legs because they're on ball and sockets will kick all the way up past the point of splits they'll go right out to the sides and again they'll come all the way to the front there is a knee bend and there's an ankle tilt and rock as well so super super flexible to be honest and as i say you can pop the guns in it doesn't matter which hand i'm just quickly looking at six gun because he comes to he comes apart in loads and loads of pieces i was just wondering if you could use six gun like you could with the wolf cybertron figures you know and power him up to be honest there isn't really anything that i can see anywhere to do that which is a bit of a shame there he is compared to his generation one self then now this isn't well this is exactly the same mold as the metroplex one used uh for him but i can't i just can't find it but i found my bot conversion anyway uh so again this is much more detailed even though this came out years after it's got pretty much a better articulation than if this was obviously all black for the scamper mold as i say this is the same mold just different colors and they are your i suppose that's it that's all the ones i know of um especially with the originals there's probably quite a few third party that i don't know much about to be honest we've got generation one We've got a BotCon one. In fact, that was subscription service, but of course it would have been Thrilling 30. There's the new one. And there he is in his alternate mode very quickly, just before we finish. Let's give you an idea, because he's a third party figure, let's bring some third party figures in. So we've got New Age, we've got MechFans Toys, we've got Dr. Wu, um, and we've got Iron Factory. And of course this should go with the Metroplex, which unfortunately I've already sold on. Uh, so I can't show you how he would fit um, with regards to them. But again, they're standalone figures, which I'm sure you can tell anyway. Um, and yeah, you can play around with them or buy them very cheap from Show Z with my code and the link in the description. There you go, guys. There he is. Cyan Cultures take on a scamper figure.